starseeds and if so what is your definition of them starseeds yes um i have heard of starseeds um i'm i'm very fascinated by the idea of them um there are supposedly several different kinds of starseeds and from what i've read about them some are very good and they're here to help and some are not so good and they may be here to do harm um, some of them are very aware of who they are and where they came from and some of them are not so the majority of star seeds according to what i know um, they're souls who originally came from other star systems and they're planted here hence the seeds part of their name um, they're planted here to facilitate these big changes to humanity and um, they're here to help us heal and they inspire creativity and innovation and um, a star seed usually doesn't know that they are a star seed until they have like this big spiritual awakening sometime during adulthood but there's usually signs that someone might be a star seed so like as a child they may have shown an interest in the paranormal or the occult at a very young age uh, they're usually fascinated by astrology and astronomy they love looking at the stars um, typically they're the weird kids they're the ones that don't have a lot of <laughs> yep yep um, <laughs> they don't have a lot of friends and they're usually loners because they don't feel like they fit in with any one group. And they they will just have this sense of longing or homesickness for a place that they don't even remember exists. Um, a lot of star seeds will also have uh, chronic health problems. They usually have a lot of environmental allergies or food and medication allergies. Some of them have autoimmune diseases. Um, why this is the case, I can only guess, but it it's almost like their extraterrestrial souls are rejecting their human bodies or vice versa or whatever. Um, and then uh, the other thing is that they usually have abilities like psychic abilities or um, energy healing abilities and star seeds tend to incarnate when it's time for earth and humans to level up so that's that's the gist of what i know about star seeds well i think we're on the same boat then <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's why i just want to get i know your... well and when you start to learn about star seeds like you read about these things and i'm like I'm like checking all these boxes like am I a star seed like I don't know <laughs> yeah I started what was that oh my god see I never really had a computer so my husband's so so sweet we were like boyfriend girlfriend we went on a shopping thing and he's like here's a laptop I'm like oh cool <laughs> and then since I already had that drawing of researching this stuff already since I was a little kid I always had a book a bookshelf full of stuff like this. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, too. can I Google stuff? So I started looking for stuff and that's where I saw star seeds. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, and there's so <laughs> there's a lot more information now than there ever has been about them. I, I read new things about them all the time. But the the best part is like the consistency in the story. So that's how that's how I feel like there's some truth to it because you read all these different accounts from all these different people and all these different places and there's these things that remain consistent in all the stories so yeah. um, I love seeing that I find that very interesting I'm like well, this is if this wasn't real it wouldn't have a consistency to it it's true so it's very fascinating I yeah. started looking it up I think it was in 2009 or 10 and there wasn't anything too much about it yeah. So I was like, what is this? <laughs> so people kept coming together and, and looking more information. And they, there's a lot of stuff out now, too. Mm -hmm. 